Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, Sleepy Frog 12 here. Today we're gonna be playing <laughs> We're gonna be playing a little game that I got off the Steam store called Happy Campers. And we're gonna see what it's about. <laughs> Alright, dude, I'm gonna. I think we're just gonna go straight into it. Oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Play TVs, don't record this, no! Oh my god, alright, what am I gonna pick? What's the name? Um. Oh, what? There you go. Oh, wait, we're gonna call it Hugh Cock. No, yeah, huge cock. Cock. Cock is a. Uh, I forget what it's called. Cock. Ooh, I can be a male or female? Hold on. Hold on. Uh. Nah. Mm. Do I want to play female? Oh, that's a hard one. Nah, I'll just stay male. I'll just stay male. Alright, do I hit just enter? This is in the way. Let me, let me get out of here. I stretched my back out as far as I bid farewell to the bus I was riding home moments ago. Writing moments ago. My entire body feels sore after sitting down for so long. For hours now, I've been sitting upright, unable to sleep due to the bumpy ride. But now that we finally arrived, that pain is all in the past. Camp barefoot, my G. <laughs> what awaits me now is the beauty of nature and a full week of self-growth. Self-growth. Lizzie, what's good, my G? <laughs> Whew, we're finally here. Should have got my sister to do these voices. I thought I was going to fall asleep. You're not the only one. Yo, Sadie, what's good, my G? What is good? <laughs> Our instructor was yawning so hard that I thought I was going to pop a lung. I thought she was going to pop a lung. I spent twenty dollars on this. Why? Ah, oh, so much reading. I was not gonna read all that. We've already been prepped. <laughs> what expect out of the electricity? No phone reception. No other humans around for miles. Not to mention the lack of pre-made food. Ah. Uh. This is the camp. It looks nothing like the brochure. Why does the screen keep shaking when it does that? Alright. So she's the camp instructor, like, bruh. She has no idea what she's doing, my G. Dude, that's so much reading. This is a comic. I'm not trying to read all this. Wait, what? Ah. Hold on. My name is My Rue. Please call me either instructor or Miss Rue. 26-year-old and professional. Professional, my G? Re Reevaluate your life. <laughs> Most of those who have a real age at that. <laughs> Grandma, how old are you, Sadie? Uh, again, it, it shook. It just shook for no reason. <laughs> and then sirens are going off in my house. Besides, 25 is still young. You're on the wrong side of 20. Oh, okay. Before you know it, your breasts will sag. You'll receive pension checks and you'll scream at kids to get off your lawn. <laughs> ah. Sup, lowlifes. I'm Sadie Armstrong, 19, and I want nothing to do with this stupid camp or any of you. Yeet. Oh, Lizzie, 19 year old, and high on life. Dancing, singing, coloring. Coloring in? Ah! Before my discussion with Sadie can become heated, I walked off on my own into the woods. But compared to dealing with Sadie, aimlessly wandering around in the forest seems like a very productive use of my time. It's freaking- OH MY GOD! <laughs> Panties! 
Yo, I don't know if I can show that. I have to blur it. There's not there's nothing really showing though. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to blur that my G. I'm sorry guys. I know you want to see some badgie. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> I knew I could reach it. Good job, Lizzie. Standing on her tiptoes, Lizzie reaches for a bird's nest high up on a tree branch. It isn't easy to reach, but through sheer force of will, she manages to place her hand on the nest. Lizzie, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't see you there. Hello, hello. <laughs> you see Lizzie found a bird's nest? Why she keep talking about herself in a third person, my G? And there's Penny still staring at me in the face. <laughs> Ugh. Wow, Lizzie's eating worms before her. Oh my god. Well, did you see- did anybody else see what they just wrote right there? It said, it feels kind of gross when they squirm around in your mouth, but once they're dead, they don't taste too bad. They're, she's talking about eating worms here, people. Like, I don't care how big your tatas are. You're eating worms. Nah, you're done. You're done with me. Wow. She quickly vanishes into the forest, presumably to free the rabbit. Wait, Lizzie! Just leave her alone. Killing a poor rabbit will scare that you for life. <clears throat> oh, man. Is very. She, again, why are all these characters talking about themselves in the third person? I complete faith in you. Foo, foo, foo. What does that mean? I see people say that all the time in, like, Pokemon games. And now this. What does that mean? Foo, foo, foo. Can we Google this? Let's Google this real quick. Is that a laugh? A Japanese term for often evil laughter. It is often used in mag manga or manga styled scenes in anime which someone is deviously plotting something it is mostly humorous so that's what i'll oh, see look it says pokemon right here it means laughter got it back to the the comic <coughs> what is it delicious mushrooms freak this bro it's far warmer outside. The air tastes better, the view is superior, and no foul smell. Uh. Oh my god, why, bro? <laughs> I simply don't have the strength. I'm telling you, it was right there. It was crawling all over my body like some kind of pervert. <sighs> this is This is not cool. Sadie presses her body firmly against mine. I can feel the shape of her entire body as she unintentionally snuggles up to me, supposedly to cut off any exert the lizard might otherwise have. It's hate lizard crying out life. It jumps on you, just pick it off. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I'm I'm so done. Uh. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 no, that really, I mean, you could then trap lizards in your panties and you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. Use my panties as a lizard trap? Interesting. Oh my god! For some reason, Sadie takes my ridiculous suggestion into serious consideration! <laughs> Why not? Huge? Come on! You, she's going for it, man! Do it! <laughs> so find something or someone or something else to cling it on. Give it a new target. Why do you think I'm clinging to you? Oh my god. I glare at Sadie. Bit. That word. Fine, you know what? Let the lizard cling to me. Let's say freaking Sadie begins to sit up with a smile on her face. Once she does so, I spot her where the lizard had retreated to. Uh, like crawling along her belly button is a small lizard, no bigger than a pencil. Ah, it's in there! It's inside my shirt! <laughs> 
this this perverted lizard is going to steal my purity. My G, what purity did you have? Oh my god. Oh! Sadie begins to pull up her shirt, exposing more of her bare flesh. There's no time for that. Get Sadie presses her ample chest into my face. <laughs> oh, as more of her skin becomes visible. No. No. Get in there. Hold on a second. Sadie ignores my plea and grabs my hand. She jams my hand between her breasts while pressing her body closer to mine. I move my hand blindly as Sadie covers my eyes with her breasts. <laughs> Every time I brush up against the lizard's tail, it scares me, making it even harder for me to pull out. Oh, no, nah, that's happening. I ain't pulling out my G. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, please stop. My. My nipples are ignoring Sadie. I make one final grab. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Really? My. Oh, my God. Completely naked and indifferent to my presence, Sadie gl casts a glance my way. But even I, <laughs> I have to read the whole thing about the scene is here.